Hello guys and girls of YouTube and welcome to my Hearts of Iron 3 Italy Let's Play. Uh, last episode we start basically launched the invasion of Ethiopia which should be mopped up fairly shortly. Um, we are also gathering our troops all around here. Um, well I might as well just say it. Um, yesterday when I was rendering my video and sorting it out um for some reason it sort of just like crashed and like hardware crashed and it, everything like fucked up i was like what the fuck i was a bit shocked it's like for the amount of money that i paid i think it was the processor that I screwed over but it shouldn't have done realistically oh i forgot about these so yeah i did actually loot because it had to reset it to a previous date so i actually lost my uh all my saves which is quite annoying but I have re basically got it back to the sim similar point so not a good start <laughs> um, anyway let's get back to it where was we where's I put I can't remember where I put my uh, air force was it here can't tell what's that I don't want to get rid of that so yeah um, what I will do is obviously I've got set up a playlist so you can always just go and like watch the previous episode there. So I recommend you check it out, of course, because it's my video. So I'm obviously going to recommend it. Um, and also I want you to tell me what to do, like what games to play. I did read a load of games out last time, but I've also like got World of Tanks. I can't remember if I said that. Um, and also Happy New Year. I um, hope you've had a good one. I don't know if you have or not. I mean, at last. To this, last night I stayed at my nana's house. She's 93, so I was looking after her. I did it the year before that, and I did it the year before that. So the last three New Years, I've stayed with my nan. It's quite funny actually. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a load of trans convoy raiding fleets. And I'm only going to contain five, six submarines. Well, there's only one because I don't have enough, but I'll put eight. In fact. So I can always get some more. And destroyers. I want to separate them off as well. But not all of them. Because look, at the, there is actually a stacking penalty of 80%. Which is absolute, absolutely unreal. I want to create another fleet. Three, three light cruisers. One battleship. A shitload of destroyers. How many is that? Five. Another one. And we'll keep it like that. Is it still 40%? Jesus Christ. Need to get it down. Let's put two heavy cruisers. 30%. Let's also put another light cruiser. 27%. And one more. And that'll do. So I think that's 5% for that. And. Yeah, it's alright. So we've got four f four navies now. I'm not going to bother with the whole name in them all. I might as well call this fourth navy. There we go. <laughs> Fairly simple. Uh, yeah. So the aims of this is basically to conquer the Mediterranean and take all and just dominate it completely. Uh, this is going well over here. They have actually taken a bit of land, similar to last episode. And these supply routes, let's have a look at infrastructure. Very, very bad. Except for Northern Africa. But Italy's okay, I guess. So what do we want to be doing? We'll mop up here. So I can continue. Let's speed up to three. Where are we now? Ooh, we're already there. <laughs> I do want to actually align myself though, because I don't believe I have. No, I haven't. And we should get there a bit quicker. I have given them transit rights. Um, how are we doing for supplies? Crude oil's going down. Everything else is roughly going up, with that being the most. Uh, sirs, right, let's have a look at intelligence then, because we do... I'll put it up again. Because as we are a major power, we do want to actually increase our like counter espionage and stuff like that do you want to give our ruling party support we want to raise national unity we know, we know that 
And I'm not bothered about spying anymore because it uses up too much. Oh crap, I didn't put anything on it. Uh, let's. Why oh, is it not going up? Let's just put that on two. Similar. Well, one and a half, in fact. Similar to last time. And also put this up as well because we will be training some more troops, of course, up to f two and a half. And then obviously espionage can also go up to two. And that should supply us with enough spies to like protect our own country and stuff. Have we won this battle? Yes, we have. I do want to actually sort something out because that pisses me off and you got to scroll in. And also, I have... Because obviously it's reset all of my, my stuff, so I want to increase... It. What is legacy camera? I've never even like used that. Audio, that's fine. I don't know if you can hear it. I'll turn it up a tiny bit. Video settings. Count the hierarchy scale. I think that wants to go down a bit. Game. Infos. Yeah, that's fine. Nah, I still don't like that. I like uh, video. Next there. Put it up. See if what that does. Yeah, that's what I want because that makes it disappear quicker. I believe. Yeah. Look. There we go. Right. It's a bit of a, a picky thing, but still, I don't care. Is it the first of February? Yes, it is. I've remembered. Where are you? Ethiopia. 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 There we go. Add war girl. Oh, you can't even conquer it. God damn it. Anyway, what I do want to do is create a theatre for here so that we can take over all of this area. Now, to do this, we want to obviously do that, do that, do that, and do that. There we go. Tub Tubrook. Where's Tubrook? I don't even know. But anyway, it's a Tobruk HQ. <laughs> we'll see, I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but still. We do want to get rid of all that crap. I don't know why, I just can't stand it. Um, also, a quick shout out. He hasn't actually requested it, but go check out Nutty History Gamer. I have actually put him as like a recommended channel on my, home, on my actual channel page. We'll call this uh, East Africa. I am like the slowest typer ever as well. HQ. So that's going to like dominate the Eastern Africa. Then we're going to have the Northern Africa one here. And obviously if we actually do manage to take over South Africa or something like that. We can obviously have that. We'll also have this one as the... Not as the... CD or whatever. I don't even know. We'll call that the... Home... Guard... HQ, and so obviously that's just going to be our home guard. I don't even know if home guard's one word. I don't think it is. Um, this is an A-star English student speaking right now. I don't even know, but still. <laughs> Let's just mop up here because we might as well put it on full speed because we are nearly. Here we go. We're going to win. We're going to conquer them. Hey, there we go. So that is done. Now, what we want to be doing is putting this fellow, this fella, right, grab that, put him in the centre, um, and now we do want to actually grapple with these, what am I even talking about, grapple, yeah we'll put these up here because I'm going to be like getting rid of all of the militia because I don't want it, it's crap, and cavalry, of course. They can be sent back up here, and I'll wait for them to all gather up. But yeah, we do. I'll put them up there just for the lol, and then we'll start putting troops on the French border. I'm gonna I'm gonna do anything I can basically to pre prevent Vichy France from being formed because they are such a pain in the ass. We are actually mobilised or demobilised. It is costly to be mobilised. It costs you a lot of money. It's a... Uh, ooh, 27. That's a bit shit. See, it's, that's why sometimes it's actually quite good to be 
mobilised because you can't see my good skirts down. I am actually producing a lot of escorts and stuff just to protect me from, and some IC, just to protect me from uh, the British Navy, which is colossus on this game. I'll speed it up a bit. So yeah, my intro. Now, don't ask about the music, but it's I tried to find the most epic music possible, and I thought that was pretty epic. I mean, not saying that my videos are that epic, but, um, you know, why are they not? What is going on? Um, but still. And at the moment, I don't have the software to actually make a proper, like, cutscene video, or whatever, for the intro. So it's just going to be, like, the title of my video. Also, uh, thumbnails, I haven't actually, like, when I was doing my other Let's Plays, I actually did create, like, them in paint but they, they were shite and so I'm thinking about paying someone to because I'm getting my own bank account soon so I'm thinking about paying someone to make some I know someone in mind to make my uh, thumbnails perhaps because I have I do actually like his style and sometimes thumbnails can actually stuff that can actually get you quite a lot of views because if you're just scroll if you what am I even doing if you just like I don't know if you're like watching a video and at the side this is epic like thumbnail you want to check it out so you just sort of click on it now this is te this is, tends to be how I sort out my troops basically what's that alpine I think that's mountain but we can always merge that uh, what do we want to be doing here alpine we'll put that one in there cavalry we'll get rid of that we'll get rid of the whole thing can't be asked for all that What's that? Another one. Motorised. They're pretty shite, but still. Armoured. Armoured car. We might as well. We'll, set, we'll keep them too. But I don't want... That one? No, I don't want... Where is it? I've lost it. Anyway, we'll, we'll get them separated. Um. So yeah, I want you to tell me what you are doing this New Year's. What are your resolutions? Or... As Boogie said, what are your New Year's plans? Because I watched his video and he was basically saying how resolutions are absolute bullshit because you never actually stick by them. Like if someone says, oh, I'm going to stop eating chocolate, and you never actually do. Like, I'm my aim is to actually stop eating as much crap, but I'm never going to be able to do that. And also to concentrate, and just to try and get as big as I can within this year on YouTube. Also, I want to knuckle down in my exams and stuff because... There's certain subjects where I, I know I'm not going to pass, such as maths, because I'm just such a fucking retard at maths, I just can't do it. I, I But the trouble is, I'm so, it's so annoying because I'm so close, that's why it's annoying. Well, it's annoying because I'm probably not going to get a job if I, if I don't pass maths, but still. Like, you know, it's literally one mark off a C every time. Every little test paper, past exams and stuff. And, you know, I, I, just, my mom, I don't know if you can hear my mum, because this mic picks up loads of sound, but she, she just said, is that what it is? And I just said, it is literally just one mark of her, see? Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to gather them two, we're going to put them on the border of uh, France, but we need to create a new theatre. And I'm going to call this Western Europe Theatre. I'm going to have a Western Europe theatre, which is because I'm going to invade the UK, that's inevitable. I'm going to have a Home Guard, I'm going to have an Eastern Europe theatre, which is going to be like Yugoslavia, Greece, Albania and all that, and poss possibly Turkey. Um, I'm going to have a North Africa, I'm going to have an East Africa, I'm probably going to have a South Africa, maybe a Western Africa, it depends. Um, also, I'm probably not going to bother with Asia, because it's just too far away. I've always got Japan and they're quite powerful. The only thing is, is this beast of a country which just literally stomps and destroys anything in its path. Which is why, if Japan can sort of launch a fairly quick invasion of the Philippines, you know, you're sorted, because the only... And also take Guam, and possibly that one there, Wake Island. Then they don't really have many islands to take, to like launch invasions from, apart from these, but these are a bit too far. Well, no, they're not, but still. You know what I mean. 
The closer you are to a country, the easier it is to invade, which is why I'm also wanting to try and invade Ireland, and that could be my base of operations. Um, let's just... How are we doing for supplies? We are doing okay. And we need to group some more of them, get these sent over there. In fact, I'm going to put that there. At the moment, I'll just, you know, put them on the border first. These guys can go there. San Remo. Um, what we do want to do also is get some armoured things. Now, they take the actual piss to, like, build, but still. Um, also, I am sorry for, like, my voice. It's such a draining voice. It's probably hard to listen to, but I can't help it. <laughs> I actually hate my voice. Sometimes, like, you know, you get them really cool American accents. It's, like, really cool. Or, like, just, like, some from, like, Brilliant, and it's, like, it's a small, it's a town of about 30,000 people, and it's in East Yorkshire. And basically, like, the nearest cities are Hull and York, and they're 40 miles away, so it's quite remote. Like, there's literally nowhere nearby. Like, Hull is, like, a docile as it is, no offense anyone from Hull, but I mean the town centre is nice, but like when you go to like Branza, which is like a massive council estate, it's just horrible. But is there any wonder? Um, York is like probably one of my favourite cities in the country. Uh, Brighton and Lewis as well, well Lewis and City, but it's a town, but I like that because my uncle lives there. And London, of course, you gotta love London. But I've only ever been there once. Um, but yeah, so. So that's why I've got quite a funny ac accent. I do also, I don't know if it's just a Brit thing, but I think it is. I also say ram. And when I say ram, I actually mean, like, disgusting. Like, when you go, oh, that food is ram, or something. Which is quite weird. Like, when you when you talk to someone that d has never heard of that, doesn't like, I talk to my cousin who lives in Lewis, that near, in East Sussex, and he just doesn't, like, he can add, sometimes he's got to, like, ask me, I'm like a foreigner to him. Sometimes I just can't understand what I'm actually saying. So yeah, good times. What's this? What? Militia. Uh, militia. And that. And what are they? Militia. Let's get rid of them. What's this? A massive militia division. Um. So yeah, basically we are lining them up now. We are lining them up for the French invasion. Just gonna go quite swimmingly, I do believe. Cav. Armoured car, that was that one before, wasn't it? And we'll just. I don't know. We'll do some. We'll sort them out. Uh, how are we doing for shit? Why has that not got any convoys? Wanna, is that a convoy? I don't even know. Yeah, it is. Just wanna add a convoy to that. Now, these. I'm not really trained with anyone other than my own empire. They're all trade routes to like these islands to the mainland and obviously to like here and to Africa and stuff. But I'm wanting to. I, what my aim is this basically to become the biggest African, have the biggest African colony, and also have the most, the biggest landmass in Europe other than Soviet Union. Which is a tricky one because do you class it as being Asian or? European. Obviously, the people do not look Asian. I've always wondered, what do the people from, like, this city here look like? Do they look Asian? It's weird. I don't know. Um, also, here, Arabic. I mean, also, I don't think they do, but still. Do these guys look Arabic? It's quite a cold area. Also, where's Siberia? I think this is Siberia. I don't even know. Anyway, guys, 20 minutes long this video, sh roughly, I think. Um... I mean, yesterday, the reason why I'm only uploading one up episode a day is because my internet is literally so slow. It took two hours to upload that video, episode one. So, yeah, I have, a, I think I fixed the whole black lines down here and down here. I'm not sure. Like, I haven't actually used Bandicam in, like, six months since I used to record on my Dell laptop, so there's no wonder that I've forgotten all the settings and stuff. And I did actually start up my... Dell laptop just to see if I had an ins 
to see if I have in uninstalled Bandicam because then I can because if I, if I haven't I can always just like look at the previous settings that what I used because I used to always get like 720p videos well that video the f episode one is actually 1080p which is good but it's just some annoying black lines at the side I think there might be actually little black lines at the side now because but I'm not sure I can't find the right settings I've looked it up and stuff but Bandicam is quite a weird software to use I, I hate fraps I'll never use fraps at all like the good thing about Bandicam is that it actually like renders your video down while you're actually recording. It's a bit more like requires a bit more processor. Well, I don't know even what it would say. Requires more like it works your processor more. If that makes sense, that can be deleted. That's my mum shouting at Bruce. If you can hear that, hopefully you can't. She's quite a wacky one, my mum, just to let you know. So if you ever hear her in my videos. And also, she tends to knock on the door now. And <clears throat> for the rude reason, as some of you may be able to guess, in case I am doing something. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. That's a good note to end on. Goodbye. And don't forget, oh yeah, don't forget to look in the description. Look at all my like social media sites, Tumblr, Reddit, etc. Like this video, comment, tell me what to do, what games to play, what I should do in this Let's Play. Also, the shout out that I did before, I don't think I actually finished it off, but Nutty History Gamer, go check him out, subscribe, etc. Um, I mean, I don't think many of you actually will subscribe just because the majority of my subscribers are because of my political videos, which is obviously not what I want, considering I'm aiming to be a gaming channel, but hopefully I can change that. I'm not saying that I want to get rid of all my political subscribers, but still. I, I, I've started deleting some of my political videos that haven't got 2,000 views, so I'll probably keep the one that's got like 45,000 views just to see where that can go. The only thing is, is when you get into politics, it's quite an iffy situation because I could, I could like, someone could from the left wing who's my age and into politics also, like say Spots Labour, he could watch one of my videos, or she could watch one of my videos and then like see my other political videos like, and it might turn him away because it's a UKIP or something and I'm a, apparently I'm a racist and stuff but anyway not going to get into that so I may I, I might actually just end up deleting them all I'm not sure yet um, but yeah thanks for watching guys and goodbye